Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1994 Weber WG51. It means it measures five foot one inches from the very front of the piano to the very back of the piano, and as you can tell, it's in a really pretty kind of a dark walnut finish. This is a, a mahogany veneer, um, but they stained it in kind of this dark brown mahogany finish with no red in it, which is really, really pretty. Um, for those of you that don't know, Weber is actually Young Chang. So Young Chang owns the, the name Weber, and they put Weber on the front of these pianos um, and kind of hit a different market. And in some instances, the Webers were kind of a little bit higher than the Young Changs. So we always relate Young Chang to like Toyota Honda caliber. So if anything, Weber would be like a Toyota Limited. You're not up to like a Lexus or anything yet, but you're, you're, you got the same scale design and everything, but a lot of times they put higher end parts in the Weber pianos. Um, this is a Korean made uh, Weber piano. And it's in really good condition. We didn't have to do too much to it besides clean it and uh, tune it and regulate it. So I'm going to play this piano for you guys um, so you can kind of hear what this thing sounds like. Keep in mind, Weber's have a heavier down weight than, uh, say, like a y Yamaha or a Kawai or something like that. They're going to feel a little bit heavier. Think more like a Steinway or an American piano. They do have an American scale design as well. So um, I'll play this one for you guys. If you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. So one thing that I'm noticing right away is that we have a nice warm bass down here in the bass section. And when I come up here, it's still pretty warm. It's a sweet, soft, warm sound up here. And that's not very common. A lot of times if you have a piano that's you know, a little bit more warm down here, sometimes I'll make the treble a little brighter. And that way when you're playing, All your treble kind of rings out a little bit above your bass because it's a little bit brighter. Personally, I don't like that. I'm a Mason and Hamlin fan. It's my favorite piano in the world. I have one in my house. I like my, my action to be very kind of even and I, I kind of like this soft, sweet. Up here as opposed to kind of the more brassy, biting sounds. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano-related videos. Thanks for watching, guys.